Welcome to Wealthfinity, where we explore the world of personal finance and investment. In today's episode, we'll be diving into a topic that many people may not have expected, finance versus lease. When it comes to purchasing a car or other big ticket item, there are often two main options, financing the purchase with a loan or leasing the item for a set period of time. Each approach has its own pros and cons, and the choice between the two can have a significant impact on your long-term financial health. Join us as we take a closer look at the factors you should consider when deciding between finance and lease. And how to make the right choice for your individual circumstances. When it comes to acquiring assets for your business, there are generally two main options, finance or lease. Each of these options has its own advantages and disadvantages, and choosing the right one for your business can have a significant impact on your bottom line. In this video, we'll explore the key differences between finance and lease options and help you determine which one is the better choice for your business. Finance Options When you finance an asset, you are essentially taking out a loan to purchase it. You will own the asset outright, but you'll need to make regular payments to the lender until the loan is paid off. The interest rate on the loan will depend on a number of factors, including your credit score, the length of the loan, and the value of the asset. The main advantage of financing an asset is that you'll own it outright once the loan is paid off. This can be particularly advantageous if you plan to use the asset for a long period of time, as you won't have to worry about ongoing payments once the loan is paid off. Additionally, you may be able to deduct the interest on your loan payments from your business taxes, which can help reduce your overall tax liability. The main disadvantage of financing an asset is that you'll be responsible for all maintenance and repair costs. This can be particularly costly if the asset requires significant repairs or maintenance over its lifespan. Additionally, if the asset depreciates in value, you'll be responsible for any losses when you eventually sell or dispose of it. Lease Options When you lease an asset, you are essentially renting it for a set period of time. You'll make regular payments to the leasing company for the use of the asset, but you won't own it outright. At the end of the lease term, you may have the option to purchase the asset, return it to the leasing company, or renew the lease. The main advantage of leasing an asset is that you'll have access to the latest equipment and technology without having to make a large upfront investment. Additionally, many leases include maintenance and repair costs, which can save you money in the long run. Finally, leasing can be a good option if you need to update your equipment frequently, as you can simply return the asset at the end of the lease term and lease a newer model. The main disadvantage of leasing an asset is that you'll be making ongoing payments for the use of the asset, which can add up over time. Additionally, if you decide to purchase the asset at the end of the lease term, you may end up paying more than if you had financed it outright. Finally, if you need to end the lease early, you may be responsible for significant penalties and fees. Which option is right for your business? Ultimately, the decision to finance or lease an asset will depend on your specific business needs and financial situation. If you need to purchase an asset that you plan to use for a long period of time and you have the financial resources to do so, financing may be the better option. On the other hand, if you need to update your equipment frequently or you don't have the financial resources to make a large upfront investment, leasing may be the better choice. It's important to carefully consider the costs and benefits of each option before making a decision. Consider factors like the length of time you plan to use the asset, the cost of maintenance and repair, and your overall financial situation. By weighing these factors and choosing the option that best suits your needs. you can ensure that your business is equipped with the tools it needs to succeed. When deciding between financing or leasing an asset, it's also important to consider the potential impact on your cash flow. Financing an asset typically requires a larger upfront investment, which can strain your cash flow in the short term. On the other hand, leasing an asset allows you to spread out the cost over time, which can be more manageable for some businesses. Another factor to consider is the potential tax implications of each option. As mentioned earlier, financing an asset may allow you to deduct the interest on your loan payments from your business taxes, which can help reduce your overall tax liability. Leasing an asset may also provide some tax benefits, as lease payments may be fully deductible as a business expense. However, it's important to consult with a tax professional to determine the specific tax implications of each option for your business. 
It's also worth considering the flexibility of each option. With financing, you have complete ownership and control over the asset, which allows you to make modifications or sell it at any time. With leasing, you have less control over the asset, but you may be able to upgrade to newer equipment more frequently. Depending on your business needs, one option may be more advantageous than the other. In conclusion, the finance versus lease. This was unexpected. Video sheds light on the different aspects of financing and leasing a car. The video highlights the pros and cons of each option, and how they can affect one's financial situation in the short and long term. Ultimately, the decision to finance or lease a car depends on individual circumstances and preferences. While leasing may offer lower monthly payments and more flexibility in terms of upgrading to a newer car. Financing may be a better option for those who want to own their car and avoid mileage restrictions and other fees.